OAuth 2 SAML grant type with Layer 7 OAuth Toolkit. This video focuses on using the Layer 7 OAuth 2.0 implementation template to implement the SAML bear extension grant type. Other videos cover the four grant types defined in the OAuth 2.0 core specification. If you haven't installed the OAuth 2 template implementation yet, follow the steps in the Getting Started Guide. The OAuth 2 template implementation provides a list of policies to implement various aspects of the OAuth 2 implementation. The OAuth authorization server, for example, covers both the authorization endpoint as well as a token endpoint. In the authorization server policy, you'll find a branch which handles each grant type supported by this template. You can opt out of grant types that do not apply to your APIs by commenting out these branches. The OAuth 2 authorization policy fragment is a policy fragment that validates an incoming OAuth access token for an incoming API request. You can attach this policy fragment to your own API policies. The template implementation provides an example of this pattern in the test service protected resource server. A sample SAML identity provider endpoint, Gimme SAML, is also provided to test the SAML grant type. Finally, the OAuth 2 implementation comes with a set of client applications, one to test each supported grant type. The SAML bearer grant type defines how a client application exchanges a SAML assertion for an OAuth access token. The specification does not define how the SAML assertion is obtained by the client in the first place. In our test application, the user is redirected to our SAML issuing endpoint on our gateway. This endpoint will authenticate the user and redirect it back to the client application along with an issued SAML assertion. I'm logging into the client application now. When I click the Initiate New SAML Handshake button, the SAML Identity Provider uh, endpoint prompts me for credentials. Upon authentication, I'm redirected back to the client application along with the SAML assertion. I can view the details of the SAML assertion here. Before I initiate the OAuth handshake, I'll tailor my template authorization server policy so that it only trusts a specific SAML issuer. Here's the branch that handles the token endpoint for the SAML bearer grant type. Here's the placeholder for me to insert which issuer I want to trust. I insert in this policy an assertion authorizing my federated identity provider, also known as a FIP, at the placeholder. Done. I save and activate, and I'm good to go. Back in my client application, I now initiate the OAuth handshake. The SAML assertion is trusted. The client application gets the access token. You can see this up here. The application can now consume an API using this new access token. I triggered this here. And now if you look back at the bottom of the client application, we see the result of the API call.